Welcome to another episode of the Hammer Down Sales and Productivity Podcast, where we're going to make you productive and not busy. Addressing the needs of business owners and planting the seed for a secure future. Do you want your business to grow and prosper without sacrificing the freedom to live the lifestyle you want? Do you want to build a company that you can cash out and sell one day so you can retire comfortably or go after the next big idea? So ask yourself the following questions. Do I want to become far more successful and productive? Do I want to grow my business to the next level? Do I want a business to work for me or me to work for it? Do I want to develop a dominating team of employees? And do I want a business that is both fun and profitable? Remember, action, attitude, and approach. And we're here to help you with that. What's happening, guys? Coach Wayne here. In today's episode, we are going to talk about behaviors, habits, and taking action. You know, that's one of the main topics that I cover on just about every episode is all of this stuff is fantastic information, but unless you take action on it, it is really all for the not. So today I wanted to talk about how to create positive, successful, healthy habits, right? So that being said, last episode, we talked about affirmations, goals, and expectations. And some people are just not prepared to take that kind of action that quickly. So there is a method called the ABC method. I don't know if any of you have ever heard that, but I'm going to go over it real quick. And it's really cool. It's a great way to take what they want to call baby steps, small steps, whatever. If you want to create a successful habit, then you need to figure out a way to anchor that to something else that you're already doing by nature or by habit, right? So let's say brushing your teeth. Not too many people go through life without absolutely every day getting up, brushing their teeth and brushing their teeth right before they go to bed. So if you want to create a habit, I don't care what it is. If you want to do push-ups or if you want to read more often, you need to tie that to an anchor that you already are doing. So let's say push-ups are the are the are the goal or the behavior that you want to start. You don't have to do a hundred push-ups. I would say that the trigger needs to be brushing your teeth, and when you're done brushing your teeth, you do three push-ups. And you do that for a week. And then the following week, you brush every time you brush your teeth, you do five push ups. And then the week after that, you brush your teeth, you get done, and you do 10 push ups. And when I first heard about this method, I was like, man, that's that's kind of interesting thought. And then I started tying it to everything. If I want to start reading more, then every time that I sat down to have a cup of coffee, I would read a paragraph, just one paragraph. And it started out for the week. Every cup of coffee that I had, I sat down and read one paragraph. The next week, I sat down with my coffee and I read two paragraphs. Following week, three paragraphs. And by the end of the fourth week, I was reading a chapter every morning with my cup of coffee. And it works. It's kind of strange, actually. And really, it's an amazing uh, way to create a habit because what you're going to find is that once you're actually triggering and taking action on the push-ups, let's say, and you've done three push-ups, you get this mentality like, well, let's just go ahead and do two more and get five out of the way. And then what happens after a while, it just becomes habit because you are doing that habit anyway, that anchor habit, which is stuff that we do every day that whether it be driving, if you got to drive to work, use that as an anchor. If it's brushing your teeth, use that as your anchor. If it's putting on your shoes, use that as your anchor. It's an interesting concept and it really helps you avoid not doing the action that you're, or the behavior that you're wanting to take action on because you're doing that anchor action anyway. So if you can tie those two together, it's an incredible 
powerful way to start healthy habits. So the ABC make uh, uh, ABC method is you know have an anchor, have a behavior, and then obviously once you've done that, set an expectation by the end of the 30 days of doing the push-ups that you're going to be doing, you know, 20 push-ups every time you do brush your teeth and, and celebrate that. Give yourself some kind of a uh, trophy goal um, or celebration of some sort. And what a great way to tie stuff together because you're going to find that you feel guilty if you don't do those push-ups after you get done brushing your teeth. And the nice thing about healthy habits like that is you brush your teeth twice a day, then great way to double up on your expectation or your goal. All right, guys, have a great day. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Hammer Down on Productivity and Sales podcast with me, Wayne Weathersby. If you liked it, please subscribe today on iTunes, Google Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts. And if you would take a second, give us a rating or leave us a message. It would be greatly appreciated.